Here it is Friday. If we can get through this day, we can make it to another weekend. My good friend Tori is heading out for a short vacation to Minnesota. She says it's mainly to check some things off her bucket list. I can't wait to hear all about the world's largest ball of twine. I hope she has nice weather. At least she's not going in February. I think this first weekend of fall would be a great time for us all to take a short vacation from all the commotion that surrounds us. Here are a few suggestions. Take a trip into one of our canyons to look at the changing leaves. Better yet, take a picnic with you and spend some time breathing deeply of the fresh air. There's lots of space, so social distancing shouldn't be a problem. Another thing you might do is write an actual letter to someone. Seeing a handwritten letter in their mailbox will make their day. Turn off the television and pick up a good book, something that's cheerful and uplifting. Robert Frost said that he could sum up everything he had learned about life in three words. It goes on. Yes, it does, and it will.